welcome so we are dealing with the python functions of class 12 computer science so now coming to the structure of python programs so we have already seen how a python program will look like i will have the definition of the functions and then after that the block containing the statements of the functions so that is how i will go ahead with the structure of the python program so when whichever is containing some kind of function okay in a python program generally all functions definitions are given at the top followed by statements which are not a part of any function these statements are not intended at all these are often called as top level statements so which is not intended they are top level statements the python interpreter starts the execution of a program or script from the top level statement the top level statement are a part of main program internally python gives a special name to the top level statement as main so what is main the main is the top level statement or the main program so whenever we go into the program it will look into the definition functions and all those things then it will come into the main function so the python names this particular set of the function is the main function and whenever they call the function then only they will go to the function definition all right now let us come into this particular function so it is going ahead and saying a definition of greet function is there and it is going to print hi there it is going to print at the most topmost level right now and inside name so now how will be the output we will see that when i'm coding it across the same function we will see the output how does it occur so i'm going to define the function define the function greet and i am passing no argument within the function and then i, I am going to go ahead and say the uh, whatever is the string that i am going to pass across so when i go ahead into this to make it a block i've done this and then i'm going to have a print function print and i am going to type hi there okay so i am going to print this and then after that what i am going to do i am coming out of the function and then i am going to print inside main function so i am inside the main function i am going to print this okay and then after that i am going to now call this particular function greet okay now let me execute this and see how does it work so first see i am going as inside main function it is going to type this particular sentence file first so inside main function and then it is going to call this greet which is going to go here and type hi there so see here the same thing is happening so hi there so that is how the function call has happened now how the flow of execution in a function call how it happens so there is a define definition define some x comma y so there is a function that i am defining so whenever there uh, there is an invoking that is taking place uh, you already know that a function is called or invoked or executed by providing function name followed by the values okay so how it happens let us now uh, take care of that okay so let us now see what happens when python interpreter encounters a function call statement so the function call the flow of the function refers to the order in which the statements are executed so whichever blocks they are coming so and execution from it contains some internal information which is used for debugging it name of the function values passed values created within the function and the information about the next instruction so if we go ahead in the next function see what is happening here here they are telling that i am defining a function i am having a return value then there is a main function then i write the function i call the function i print so as here from here how the function flow occurs it will be going in the same process see in here if i say cal sum so cal sum how it is occurring we will see this and we will then go into so there is a function which is called cal sum okay which is returning s now it is taking two numbers here it is taking one number here it is taking one number calculating the sum using the function and returning the sum all right so whenever it goes to the main function what it does that is at py what it does so this is uh, the program which is saved with the name at py okay and here so python has python files they have got an extension of the py so the program which uh, program execution begins with the first statement which is the main segment okay so here in we are going across and we are finding how it is occurring so uh, when we see how it is occurring what is happening first line which is getting executed is this particular line so here num 1 is equal to float input enter first number 
then it is going and going in the second place it is going to execute this statement enter the second number and say the first number entered is 3 second number it will be taking the number entered is 7 then it will go into the third which is going into the function which is going into the function so it is going to call the function whenever it goes and calls the function what happens after that whenever it goes and calls the function it will go into this calcium and then after that it will return this value s so whenever whenever it returns the value s what it is going to do it will return the value s and then after that will finally go into the print statement date string sum is equal to sum so it is returning it to the return value is going to a variable and then after that i am getting the complete value so we can see it is moving from main one to main two to main three then to the function calsum part one part two there it is then it's coming to main three and main four the statements if i say this statement if i go into this function the codes it's written so here if i go across i can say this it is entering into main one this is main one okay then this is main two it's entering into main two then when it comes here okay when it comes here this calsum it will move into the function then it will move here and this will execute function one it will execute the function two statement and then it will execute the main three statement and then the main four statement okay now we will see that we will see into this and then we will go ahead with the functions so uh, now that you know how functions are executed internally let us discuss about the actual flow of execution in a program python starts reading from line one onwards statements are executed one at a time in order to from top to bottom while executing a program python follows these guidelines execution always begins at the first statement of the program comment lines which is with hash are ignored and are not executed all the other blank lines are executed if python notices that it is a function definition that is def statement is there then python just executes the function header line to determine that it is proper function header and skips and ignores all the rest of the lines the statements inside the function body are not executed until the function is called. In Python, a function can define another function inside it. But since the inner function definition is inside a function body, the inner definition isn't executed until the outer function is called. When a code line contains a function called Python first jumps to the function header line and then to the first line of the function body and starts executing it. A function ends with a return statement or the last statement of the function body, whichever occurs earlier. If the call function returns a value that is it has a statement like return okay then the control will jump back to the function call statement and completes it example if return value is assigned to a variable c to be printed or to be compared or you know using any type of expression whole function call is replaced with the return value to complete the statement if the call function does not return any value the return statement has no variable or the value of or expression then the control jumps back to the line following the function call so now we will be going ahead with this so there's a statement one statement two inside the function and there are four statements here so determining the flow of execution on paper it also sometimes known as tracing the program as per the above discussion what is happening it is going and first going into the line two if you see the program over here it is first going into line two so it is reading the definition of the function and then it is jumping to the six statement so six statements starts the main function it will go to six then it will go to seven and then it will go to eight from eight it will when eight calls this cal function it will return to two from 2, it will return 3, 4, and then again come to 8, give the value to sum, and then execute 9. So, this is what I called as a tracing of the function. So, uh, here in what happens, it needs to be noted that the function calling, another function is called the caller, and the function being called is called the callee or the call function. Okay. So, there are various arguments and parameters which are being passed. Okay. So, uh, the arguments, let's see, it's definitely uh, def multiply a of a comma b. So, the arguments I have passed two arguments. And whenever I call the function, depending on how I pass the arguments, based on, you know, uh, how I give it in chronological order, it is being taken. So, Python refers to the values being passed as arguments. Okay. And what are the parameters? Parameters is value being received as parameter. So, this function, it will have the arguments which are being passed and parameters are which are being received. So, you may say the arguments appear in function call statements and parameter appear in function header. Okay. So, what are the different types of arguments I may have? I may have literals, I may have variables, I may have expressions. So, uh, here it, the alternative names of arguments are actual parameters or actual arguments. Alternative name for parameters are formal parameters and formal argument. So, either you can use combination of argument and parameter or you can use a combination of actual parameter and formal parameter or combination of actual argument and formal argument. So, uh, this is how it will be going ahead. So, if I say multiply, I give 3, 4, then I am passing the arguments. Both are literals. I am passing the argument. So, it is giving me p is equal to 9. So, multiply p, 5. What is happening? 1 is a literal and 1 is a 
arguments okay variable whereas if i say p p plus 1 then one is a variable and one is an expression so anything i can be passing across okay so these are the functions so i will be going across and showing one of the functions as i was telling you can sum of two variables x comma y and then after that i am putting a colon and then after that what i am doing i am saying r is equal to x plus y and then i am going to return i am going to return the value of r okay so i am going to return the value of r So herein, what am I doing? I am going to ex execute few functions. Say I am going to say n one is equal to I am going to say float, and I am going to put in this one, and I am going to write enter a number, enter a number, right? And then after that, it is going to go ahead, and I am going to have n two, and I am going to say equal to okay float. And here I miss with one thing, which is input, input. And I need to close this bracket as well, so as there was a mirror. Okay, so I can always copy this out, and I can copy this and I can paste it here, so that's it easier. So I can say input float. So this is another one. Now what I will do? I am going to call the Function and I am going to pass two variables n one and n two. So I have passed two variables, literals n one and n two. So I am going to place it in sum. Result sum is equal to this. So now what is happening after this? I am going to print. Print. I am going to print n one, comma. N two, comma, equal to this. Okay, so this is what I am going to go ahead. Now, if I execute this function, let me see what is happening. Enter a number four, then again enter a number six, then what is it saying? Four plus six is equal to ten. So this is how the function got executed. So what is happening? So first, what happened? First, it went across. It went across this line. It went first. It read this line. After reading this line, what it did? As it show, saw that there is a def, it did not go through the rest of the line and it shifted to line number seven. And it entered here, took this. Then it executed into line number eight. Executed. When it came to line number nine, what it did? It went ahead with this function. So from nine, it went to four. And then it executed five. It executed six. And then it returned to ten. Okay, so this is how the execution takes place. So thank you for now, and rest we will do it in the next class.